Corey McKenna is back with me. Uh, you had a hell of a scrap, Corey, in your last fight, and you've got a, another scrapper, another another girl who's willing to throw down. But let's talk about your last fight, because that was, I think that was a huge fight for you in your pro rank to, to kind of make yourself go, yep, I'm definitely in the pro ranks, and you got yourself a great test. That was a hell of a good fight for you. Yeah, I mean, I'm always fighting, like, tough girls and, like, the toughest opponents available to me. Um, I'd definitely say Eva's probably, well, Eva's the toughest girl that I've fought today and potentially in the future. I mean, let's say she's a um, high pedigree of judo, um, grappling everything. You know, she was undefeated in MMA and she was, re she was really strong as well, so hats off to her. Like, she was a really good test for myself and um, identified a lot of areas that I needed to work on and I've gone away and improved on that, so I'm looking forward to showing everyone these improvements on Saturday. Saturday, next week. I know, it's not far, is it? Ooh, exciting yeah. times. <laughs> uh, so, uh, well, let's let's just touch on it a little bit then. So you said there was some areas, but when you face someone who, like you said, who's a high level judoka, you've got to always accept them that maybe they're going to have a bit of su superior skill set in those areas, and you can't really catch up to it, for example. Like, I, you can't take 10 years to go and be a judoka black belt to then come back in MMA. So do, what kind of areas did you feel that maybe yourself, you could work on to at least bring yourself up to hold someone off like that? Well, to be honest, like, it wasn't the best performance on my behalf. Like, I could sit here and make excuses all day, but I'm, I'm not going to. Um, like, at the end of the day, I, I can... I feel like I can beat any girl on my worst day and that's kind of how I feel this that last one went like I got the decision wasn't my best performance like I went I went away I've um since I've started working with a new strength coach just to get a bit more hands-on kind of um work here because I could, it's a bit difficult in the whole long-term coaching things so as great as Will was um just ended up working out a little bit better so this fight camp I've done with a new strength coach you know noticed some gains again just from having that like I say that um hands-on approach there um yeah like you say like she been i think she's been in like someone said like 18 years of judo or something so that's yeah you know, as, as long as i'd been alive at that point so um you know there's only so much that we can do but yeah she caught me with a few in the second round but i came out in the third and um she didn't catch me with it so you kind of like in the moment like noticed it myself so that's kind of like a bonus but yeah like you say, just it's just like little things working on with like my striking coach my grad, like there's always stuff to work on even if even if they're not necessarily beating you at those points there's always like always making mistakes or always just little improvements to make so um ever the critic of myself i've uh, i'd say i've improved every aspect of leading up to this fight which is obviously what what we aim to do yeah and it's it's good because you've got a cluster of you from the camp all training together prepping together how has that helped you though with the fight camp then kind of momentum joining together and you do you guys sit down and chat afterwards maybe help each other in a way going oh i keep noticing you're doing this you know you keep putting your left hand down and when i'm throwing the jab do you are you doing that with each other as well during the fight camp to, or do you just flow and just let it go yeah i mean everyone always helps everyone if there's something that's noticeable like the guys will always stay and drill if there's something that i want to drill like i say my coaches they always they're, they're they're very critical but like in like constructively obviously it's what i'm after so like you know if i'm hitting the pads with locket and he goes oh you're lifting your chin a little bit like we'll work on it like there's always little pointers but um yeah we're always helping each other out and like you say the gym's absolutely buzzing just because i think we've got seven guys on the card it was meant to be eight but um better one of the lads is unfortunately not able to fight um but yeah like the, there's so many guys that have been going through this fight camp and like it's just the whole the whole atmosphere is amazing like it, it does make the whole process that little bit more exciting because like you say i get to see everyone else improving as well as myself and it's kind of like all leading up to this one big moment so um yeah i'm really looking forward to the show on saturday it's, it's going to be great great yeah. night result i was well i was gonna say the atmosphere will be electric because you've got so many of you there obviously you'll have your friends your families so they'll just be and they'll obviously support yourself whereas if you were just going on your own so to speak you wouldn't have the six other families all joining in to chiming in together so it's going to be even a, a larger louder atmosphere than normal which it's, it's never a bad thing yeah and the, and the cards in wales like the, the the atmosphere on the welsh cards is like amazing like the the support the support that the welsh fans give is it, it's it's crazy like that is always sold out and it's always going wild especially with jack shaw headline in it like the, the arena is sold out and it's it's going to be absolutely mad like like you say like i'm used to going to fights on myself and traveling and everything but it is nice like you say to have everyone there and also like you say everyone's going to be picking up those wins so it's just going to be great rolling on through the night set set the tone 
Um, so yeah, it's going to be great. And let's talk a little bit in the future. I know we're, we're, I'm not taking away this fight that's happened now, but Cage Warriors, Cardiff, UFC, uh, Cage Warriors 100, Polares, boom, boom, bo bam, bam, uh, like a, a bumper weekend. You've got to be in your mind a little bit thinking, oh, get a win here. Be something awesome to be part of that, like part of the Cage Warriors 100 event. It doesn't matter in what facet, even if I could get a Polaris bout, you know, even even competing on Polaris would be awesome. And um, is that something that's maybe a little bit crossed your mind? I know you got a lot of folks on here. I'm just saying, like a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, I'll keep my <laughs> to myself, but no, um, <laughs> never, I'd never, never overlook a match, you know, you know, a fight even. Um, but yeah, I mean, it would be an amazing show to be a part of. So, uh, you know, once I've won this one, we'll uh, we'll see how it goes, eh? <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, just a little bit. I'm not saying a lot. I'm telling you, like, tiny, like, like a brief moment. You went, well, that'd be nice, and then carried on. Uh, so let's talk a, bit, a little bit about your opponent. Um, uh, she's got two names, but we'll go with the uh, proper name. Uh, Mik I, I, I'm going to say this wrong. I, I want to say Mikol, but I'm trying to say it like an Italian kind of twang to it. But is that Mikol Di Segni? I reckon it's yeah. pronounced that way. Yeah. Like, it probably means Michelle. It probably means Michelle in English, I assume. And I have do not been too mm -hmm. lazy to translate it. Nicole. Yeah. Nicole. Nicole. Nicole, maybe. Yeah. Nicole. Yeah. Mi Nicole DeSegni. A lady yeah. herself who's recently come off a couple of good victories, submissions and a, a TKO. So she's got a bit of momentum in herself with the finishes. Have you researched her yourself? Do you know much about her? Because uh, she's a brawler. Uh, I'll put it that way. I think she's uh, uh, always up for a fight. She's definitely never want to back off. So it's something that you must be happy with, the fact that you've not got someone who's just going to be stepping back all the time, kind of counter-striking. Yeah, so, sorry. She's popped cool. and get a lot of messages. That's all that is popping up, all right, folks. And also, <laughs> Facebook game game <laughs> requests. <laughs> Bad um, sorry, what was the question? Oh yeah, research. No, I'm not really. Uh, I don't really look too much into them. Like I'm not big on game planning. I think that if going back to the earlier question, that's probably something that I did wrong in my last fight. Like I um I had stuff that I wanted to do and I kind of only did that which is exactly the reason why uh, game plan for every other fight so i'm going back to old school Corey, the same one that uh, so hopefully i turn up the same as my first fight and uh yeah no game plan just see how it goes um I, i'm confident in all areas i've trained my hardest in all areas so to be honest whatever she brings on the night because at the end of she's been training hard for the yeah i mean she for a good fight so Goes, eh? It's going to be fun. That's what's important. Uh, as long as the atmosphere is good and you go in there and give everything you can. Last thing, like you say, last fight you said a couple of things didn't work. You don't want to go in there and come out feeling I could have done more. That is the worst. It feels and it sucks. I've done it myself. I got home and went, ah, should have went out a bit more. I should have like went out my shield if that makes sense. But that's my feeling, though. I'm just yeah. saying in general for fighters, you don't want to go out there. And then you want to go out, and this is the kind of opportunity you've got here to. I think she's the perfect kind of fight where you you can ha you can do a lot in the fight. Yes, and you can you can apply all assets of your skill set. Yeah, well, I've, I've never come out of a fight and thought I could have done more. I mean, the last fight I come out and I went, you know what, I left it all in there. There was a lot to work on, as I say, and like I say, I think I think maybe I thought too much about what she could have done or whatever. Like there's, there was a lot and that I could have worked on, and I I have so. Um, yeah, I'm just like I say, just going in there confident that I've put in the best training camp with the best team. I've made the improvements I need to do and everything. So um, yeah, I'm look, yeah, it's gonna be good. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, last bit, you must have been happy with the. I think you showed a huge level of maturity in your mindset in the last fight. Because even when a couple of things weren't qu quite clicking for you, it didn't stop you. You know, you you switched a couple of things up and you and you, and you kept going. That and people don't realise it in a fight. A lot of people you see it in fights where they just mentally kind of they go off point. You showed a level of like kind of mindset where you were just like, I'm still, I'm all right. This it's a 15 minute fight. It's not over. There's no such thing as over. I'm gonna keep going. I've got. I can get this. I can win this. I I think that definitely showed in that last fight. Yeah, I think you you at the end of the day you can't teach like I know it's cheesy. They say you can't teach heart. You can't teach mentality. But I, I really think think that's true. Like. I, I am a lot of people always say I have got that fighter's mentality. I mean, I, I will fight until someone like full on 
puts a stop to me, you know what I mean? You'll have to choke me out unconscious or knock me out cold to stop me fighting. And I think that, that is, like you say, it does get me through a lot. That and obviously I've got, I'd say I've got the best gas tank in the women's division and, you know, paired up with my strength work at the moment, I'd say I'm the strongest as well. So at the end of the day, I, all I can do is keep putting in the work and I, I've got no reason that I can't win these fights. And I can't wait to see it. I'll be tuning in, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's on uh, UFC Fight Pass, BT as well, and um, Free Sports, I, I, I believe it is as well. So there's... Sports the prelims. I'm first on the Free... main card of nine, yeah. so... Yes, ah, there you go. Yeah, BT and Fight Pass at 9 p.m. Oh, uh, you know, as you do, as one does. <laughs> Look... <laughs> And I can't wait for it. Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you are one of the UK UK's kind of hot talents, hot prospects in the pro ranking. So, ladies and gentlemen, join in in watching Corey compete. And before I let you go, give us your social media so everyone could jump on uh, the bandwagon, so to speak, and join you on your rise. Uh, Twitter and Instagram, Corey McKenna ninety nine, and Facebook page is cause super original. And yeah, 99 is because it's the year you're born, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Th thanks for that. I just need that reminder. Just make me feel a little bit old. Great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and <laughs> can you give us your uh, sponsors? Uh, people out there who can help you out. It's a nice t shirt, by the way. <clears throat> so, so you got to tell me fight wear. Give me all my fight kit, like highest quality. It's like amazing. Yeah. QT supplements. All my supplements. You know, they do. They do everything like dairy free, all the all, all, all sorts. They do everything, so just check them out. You get a discount with the code Corey Ten, I believe. It's on my Instagram, so check that out. Uh, DC Elf and uh, Reach Your Peak funding this camp, which is obviously a major part because I hate to think how much I owe my parents at the moment. <laughs> um, and then I've got Christy Raby uh, doing my sports massage. I've, that's another thing I've put in this fight camp. Um, you know actually starting to take my recovery seriously now and everything because I am putting a lot of hours into the gym and I've noticed a massive difference in that in itself so uh, she's helping me out massively Christy is awesome by the way ladies and gentlemen uh, if you ever see her at a UFC event she'll be there supporting the Welsh compatriots with a Welsh flag and might have a couple of drinks in her as well but she is a legend Christy she, she was ring girl in my pro debut in Wales when I fought so that's that's how I met Christy and that's how I know her so that's how I met her years ago so she is a legend good old gorilla grip uh, <laughs> then anytime fitness are also sponsoring me I use them regularly as well it's great like it's in the name anytime at the gym <laughs> I didn't actually know that at first Jack that Jack was mocking me for that <laughs> um, yeah. yeah oh there's so many people to thank like the support has been amazing um it's kind of like baffling how much support I've received over the last few fights. So um, I'm really grateful. So yeah, if everyone can check them out, look on my Instagram. I've just posted my banner and everything with all my sponsors on. So um, yeah, I can't thank them enough, really. And then last but not least, let's give Tillery a shout out and everyone else who's helping out, like gym and kind of personal training, all that good stuff. Yeah, um, like I say, strength coach, uh, I think his Instagram's conditioning with James, uh, Tillery Combat, obviously, Richard Shaw, Carl Parker, they're amazing. And my manager, Jack Mason, like, he's literally steering me in, like, the perfect direction. So, wouldn't be where I am without him. So, uh, yeah, loads of people to thank. Like, I've got an amazing group of people around me. Yeah, and you've got, yeah, great group of names, as you said, for people who aren't familiar with the UK scene, they are top top names and guys who know what they're talking about uh, and Richard uh, puts on some great Facebook posts always <laughs> <laughs> he, he knows how to get people going yeah I, I don't watch Love Island but I feel like I have uh, I, I, so, um... I am same as you not watched a minute of it but I feel like I went through it all with him <laughs> so uh, yeah I'm very very confident about these these things <laughs> uh, Corey, thanks again for your time and look, have a, have a great fight at uh, Cage Warriors 97, it's going to be fantastic as always Thank you, great catching up with you thanks for having me There we go, awesome, again, Corey, 